Hey guys, today I thought it'd be fun to give you a tour of my little art studio at my house. Um, so let's jump right in. Um, keep in mind this floor is squeaky. It is an old house, so if you're squeaking, that's what it is. Alrighty, so I'll give you an overview real quick. Um, that closet is clear full of stuff, so don't mind that. It's storage. Okay, let's walk in and go to the right here. And this is my main art table where I do all my painting and stuff. On this wall, I have a map and just a few things on the wall here. Um, I did have a dry erase board here, but I took it down and I just hung up that painting to dry and then I hung up a blank um, acrylic palette. It's just a cutting board I use for a palette. Then I have a map up here, scratch off map, so we can scratch off where we've been. Hopefully there's more to scratch off soon, so we're really hoping for that. Um, I have some works in progress over here, um, collaboration with my husband on the dragon and a succulent and a few things over there. And then I have my glass oil palettes, which I just use for oil painting because it's easier to get off of there because I can use a glass scraper and I have a plain one and then I have just some like hanging stuff like nails and that sort of thing over there and those pink drawers and on top some flowers from my wedding bouquet that didn't get used my little moon painting and another acrylic palette that has been used so it's very colorful then I have my main art desk right here. Um, it's pretty bare at the moment for me. It's usually clear full because I'm usually painting and all that on it. Um, right here, I just started block printing like <laughs> yesterday. I just started out yesterday, so there's a, um, a printing block and the block print that came from that. And then I have a few more in my sketchbook over here. Then some more works in progress, those are wood panels, and I just have not found the motivation to finish them yet, or really even start that one. And I have just a dirty oil rag and some blending stumps that I had some Gamsol on for Prismacolors, and another palette, that one's wet, that's why it's not setting up, because I've had a lot of experience with palettes. Um, just falling over on my table and getting paint all over it, which is fine for an art table, but it's just really hard to get off, as you can see, like, all over it. It's very dirty, that's why I don't do a lot of, um, drawing on it, because there's usually wet paint on it, so that's a problem, but, you know, it happens. Then I have my most recent oil painting. I did that the other day. Well, I finished it the other day. It took a couple months. And then I just have some stuff um, that I take with me for drawing and stuff. I take it when I go places. It's clear full of stuff. And then just some more block printing tests. Those didn't turn out very good, but there's that. Um, some Russian nesting doll blanks. I have, I've got to sand them because they don't sit in right. So hopefully one day we'll get that. Um, some CDs, um, an artist panel, and sometimes I'll just use this little bin for trash and stuff. It's just, it came with like a Christmas set of wet and wild makeup. And then there's the palette from that painting. Um, then I have my prints wall, which I have a few artists up here. I have, um, let's see here, Thomas Ascot which are those. And then I have um, Sofia Rapata. I have a few of hers up there. And there's a picture where I met Sofia Rapata in Indiana. And then I have um, Shoemaker Art. I have Bathory. And I also have the Halloween Nick Cage version, which I love just as much. And then I have some Lena Dania art, which I love. It's so pretty. It's a a very different mix of art up here, but I love it all, so that's great. Then I have my little uh, stained glass star from Fiesta Color on Etsy. 
It's only like seven bucks and I love it. We used it as a Christmas ornament, but I just hang it in here when it's not Christmas time because it's very pretty. And then of course paper towels. Uh, you always need paper towels in here. So, And I forgot to show you my little um, rolling cart here. I have some Gamblin oil paint. Um, Gamblin's the only brand of oil paint I use just because it's what I'm familiar with and it's what I started with. And I haven't really branched out and tried any more yet. But as you can tell, I love Gamblin. <laughs> You'll be able to tell more later how much I love Gamblin. And some water for my watercolors, some brushes, pins, um, palette knives, some Gamsol in that jar there. Down here I have some watercolor stuff. I have, um, I'll show you here, White Nights which I have not used yet, besides swatching, I got it for Christmas. And they're very vibrant, and I love them. I just haven't used them yet, besides swatching, of course. And I have my tried and true Windsor & Newton Cotton. You can tell it's well loved. It's very, very dirty compared to the White Knights. And I've been using this for Two years now I think. It's um, cleaner than it was. I cleaned up the um, trays a little bit but it was very messy. And then I have the Himi gouache which I haven't tried much yet but I'm interested to try it some more. And I have some more color pads, um, some aqua board, Canvas panels and that sort of thing. And then on the bottom, I just have a box with random junk. And I have um, a staple gun. And I have some rags down there in that tin. So yeah, that's my art desk. Um, if you go over here, I have just a little um, cutesy, creepy area. <laughs> I have my crystal wall, which I love. It is scratched up a bit um, because our house floors are uneven and it was in my bedroom and it's fell a few times. You can see the, the scratches on it. Um, Himalayan salt, tea light holder, um, some pyrite, uh, quartz, amethyst, little ghosty figurine that I got at the craft store, rose quartz, um, those little figurines, Amish figurines, I love those. My lantern and then my book of spells thing I got around Halloween. Uh, I'm just obsessed with the creepy uh, decor stuff. I love it, as you can tell by my prints up there. <laughs> um, down here, under these shelves, I just have some swatches, um, some little doodles, pictures, tickets, um, that sort of thing down here. Up on these shelves, I have a whole ton of stuff. Let's start on the bottom here. I have a bunch of painting mediums. A lot of them are by Gamblin. Um, some Neo McGilp, which is my favorite right now. I have some Gamsol to rinse my brushes. Um, Galkid Light. Um, Gambar back there. Um, I think I have some regular Galkid in there somewhere. More Gambar. Studio Soap, Ink, um, Gamsol again, Gesso, um, Slow Dry Medium for acrylics, which I don't use acrylics much because they're not my favorite. They still dry too fast. Um, I don't know. I just don't like them as much. Some more varnish, um, my glass scraper up there, just some jars to hold some toxic materials like um, painting sludge and stuff. Markers, um, another Sophia Rapata print, my little elf figurines, um, <laughs> a computer bug, which I love, it's so cute. Um, some candle scents, more jars, um, ink, stamps, um, linseed oil, rags, glue, staples, sanding blocks, block printing stuff. Foam brushes, that sort of thing up there, just anything you can need. And I have my salt lamp, a little fan because sometimes it gets stuffy in here and I want to circulate a little bit. My troll doll, of course, I love weird things. Some more 
Amish salt and pepper shakers. Um, more Gamvar because I caught it on sale for really cheap and it's pretty expensive by itself so got some of that. Um, my paint chip jar which I scrape paint into because it's pretty um, and I heard you're not supposed to throw it away. Um, some more gesso, workable fixative, more Gamsol of course. <laughs> And then I have some baby powder because I use Gamvar sometimes and it's really hard to get off your hands. It's really sticky and I found that baby powder gets it off pretty well. And I had some wood stains and uh, razor blades, a roller from a block printing, some Prismacolor pencils, some oil pastels, just some random things up there, um, just some random figurines and a little, um, little travel cup that I just haven't put away yet. And then down here is just my more relaxed desk. desk. I have um, my printer and stuff down here. I have some notebooks. Um, I have canvases, like canvases down there. And, uh, some tools and stuff and then some pens, pencils. Nail polish because I painted my nails in here one day and never took it out. <laughs> And right now I'm working on a diamond painting right here, and it's perfect for it. And these are pretty cool, but as you can tell, the pieces are really small, and it's very tedious, and they get everywhere. And then my power strip and some lighting. So that's up for that part. And then down here, I have my speaker, because it's hard to do art without listening to something. And then I have some dumbbells and uh, a toning ball, because... Sometimes I can't make it to the gym and I have to work out at home and I end up doing it in this room. This room is kind of tiny for that, but I make it work. And I have my Nike mat over here. Um, this treadmill couldn't fit anywhere else in our house, so we put it in here. It takes up a lot of space, but it's the only place we have for it, so <laughs> there it is for now. And I have this light that I just never got around to hanging up yet. I have some of my artwork over there on this wall, but it's covered, unfortunately, and I just haven't moved it yet. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's my art studio. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry, I just backed into the wall. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope it inspires you a little bit, maybe. Make yourself a little art studio at home if you have the space. And that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.